Hello there. Well, it's looking like a pretty unsettled week for weather across the British Isles. We've got two named storms moving in off the Atlantic, Storm Dudley and Storm Eunice, and they're going to bring some quite strong winds in places, some heavy rain and the potential for some snow and perhaps some blizzardy conditions in places as well. So let's crack on straight with the forecast and take a look at what's happening over the next few days. So this is the jet stream you can see already here across the North Atlantic. It's quite active, quite strong, uh, pushing areas of low pressure across uh, from west to east. As we go into the middle part of the week, particularly Wednesday, Thursday, that's going to move directly over us. So bring some strong winds in places across the British Isles through Wednesday, Thursday and into Friday as well. Some brief respites, but overall there will be some quite strong winds at times. It does ease off slightly Friday night into Saturday, but then you can see out to the west um, the jet stream is still pretty active and that's going to continue to push areas of low pressure in from the west. So over the next few days and into the weekend, we're looking at several areas of low pressure coming through, some periods of heavy rain, some periods of quite strong winds as well. And all in all, it's going to be quite an active week for weather uh, for much of the UK and Ireland. So this is how things are likely to stand on Tuesday evening. We've got some rain around uh, this afternoon. That's going to clear away to the east. And you can see through Tuesday evening, that band of rain moving eastwards across the North Sea. Still slow to clear, perhaps across southern parts of England, but generally that's moving away to the southeast. We've got this next area of low pressure here moving in from the west, and it's this area of low pressure here out to the west that's going to develop and become Storm Dudley. So first we've got this area of rain moving in through Tuesday evening and uh, into Wednesday morning. That clears quite quickly before then this next area of rain comes through, some quite heavy rain at times across northern England and Scotland. Generally a little bit patchier across southern areas, but still some periods of rain on and off, which could be quite heavy at times. But one of the main things really that's going to be uh, the thing to note about the weather is how windy it's going to be. So this area of low pressure here driving quite a strong west to northwesterly flow, some quite tight isobars in places. And that's going to lead to some pretty widely uh, strong winds. Plausibly many places seeing gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour on the high ground. We could see gusts of 70 to 75, perhaps locally up to 80 as well as around some exposed coastline. So this here is just one model's idea of the max gusts around mid-afternoon on Wednesday. Uh, so the max gusts will differ from place to place in terms of the timing, but this broadly a time when many places are seeing strong winds. And you can see those blue colours indicating gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour. Anything in the purple that's above 50 miles per hour. And these dark purples here showing gusts of 70 to 80 miles per hour. So many high ground areas seeing those stronger gusts, even at the low levels, many places seeing gusts of 50 to 60 and into the southeast that will move further uh, in during the evening. So later on in the day, those uh, stronger winds will become a little bit more extensive. But you can see there could be a few spots, particularly around southern Scotland, the Irish Sea, perhaps some of the, the northern Pennines and the high ground of Scotland around the Moray Firth could briefly see gusts of close to 80 miles per hour. So one to be aware of um, some very strong winds through Wednesday and not really easing until into Thursday morning or lunchtime. So as we go into Thursday, this layer of low pressure, which is Storm Dudley, moves away to the east. The breeze does ease very slowly. You can see those isobars becoming slightly further apart, so a slightly less windy uh, west and northwesterly flow. A few showers moving into western parts, but for many eastern areas should be dry through Thursday, although, like I say, quite windy. The next spell of weather, though, is this area of low pressure that's been named as well uh, by the Met Office, Storm Eunice. That's a very rapidly uh, deepening area of low pressure, so falling uh, in terms of its pressure quite rapidly over uh, the 24 hours preceding this. Um, and that's going to begin to push in through Thursday evening and then through Thursday night and into Friday. That's going to continue to push eastwards, bringing, um, you can see, some spells of heavy rain, perhaps some snow on its leading edges. On Thursday, we do see some quite chilly air move in from the northwest. Um, and then some, uh, as that rain hits that, that will turn to snow in places. So for Thursday itself, uh, sorry, for Friday itself, that's going to continue to move eastwards. We're going to see heavy rain push northwards, perhaps some snow. And you can see on the southern flank of that area of low pressure, some very tight isobars. So again, another spell of very strong winds. This time, perhaps focusing more on southern uh, Britain and Ireland around those coastal areas. This here is a map of uh, the maximum gust in the 24 hour period from 6 a.m. on Friday through until 6 a.m. on Saturday. So this isn't a snapshot of one particular time. It's the maximum gust for each of these individual locations that it's likely to see over that 24 hour period. And you can see many places widely seeing gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour, up to 70 miles per hour in places, perhaps not as widely at some of the low levels as this does suggest, but any high ground areas could quite conceivably see 
gusts of 70 to 75, perhaps up to 80 around exposed coastlines and some exposed hills as well. So some very strong winds with gusts possibly up to 80 miles per hour in places at times during Friday um, and possibly into Saturday. To start Saturday though, generally those winds will have actually eased during Friday evening and for many um, it will be a little bit quieter, so a brief ridge of high pressure building, some drier conditions uh, during the second half of the night and into Saturday morning. But you can see there's another area of low pressure ready to come through, pushing rain eastwards. Um, again, some blustery winds, not quite as strong as the winds on Friday, but still quite breezy. Uh, and then another area of low pressure ready to come through for Sunday. Um, so quite a chain of areas of low pressure coming through over this week, but the strongest winds are going to be associated with those two low pressures on Wednesday and on Friday. So a very active week in terms of weather with a lot going on. The best way to stay on top of that is to speak directly to one of our forecasters. They're available every day from 6 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. on the number on screen, and they'll be able to talk you through any changes in the forecast, any uncertainties, where the strongest winds are likely to be, where the heaviest rain is likely to be, who's at risk of snow. So they're the best way of staying on top of the forecast. Now, looking a little bit further ahead than that into next week, you can see here um, through this week, it's quite up and down with these areas of low pressure coming through. That's uh, Storm Dudley on Wednesday. Then we've got Storm Eunice on Friday. Worth pointing out, there's a little bit more spread in terms of the models on that. There is a little bit of uncertainty as to exactly where the centre of the low pressure system will go. And that will have a bit of a knock-on impact in terms of whereabouts the strongest winds will be. So it's worth staying on top of the forecast as to how that pans out. We do get that brief ridge into Saturday before that next area of low pressure comes through and then that next area of low pressure on Sunday. So quite up and down through this week and the weekend. But what you can see is as we go into next week, it does seem like things might settle down a little bit. It still will be quite changeable, but you can see there's a general increase in the pressure, perhaps a little bit more high pressure ridging in from the south, which could quieten things down. Um, and similarly, most of these models going for that kind of thing towards the end of the month. Some models bring in some deep areas of low pressure um, by the end of the week, but overall it looks like a slightly quieter period of weather um, as we move in towards the end of February. So this is um, the mean pressure anomaly, just as a comparison for this week. And what you can see from this here is a very strong jet stream, some very tight isobars averaged across the week. These blue colors generally indicating lower than normal pressure. So a chain of areas of low pressure moving in from the west. What you'll notice about this map compared with next week's map is that, yes, it's still looking quite changeable. We've still got a fairly active jet stream, but this area of high pressure or this high pressure anomaly is slightly further north. So we'll see a little bit more ridging of high pressure in southern parts, still uh, very unsettled in northern and western Britain um, with areas of low pressure coming through. But as I mentioned a few, a few moments ago, it is slightly more settled perhaps in the south. And tying in with that, this is the rainfall anomaly. Many southern parts below average in terms of rainfall uh, across parts of southern and eastern Britain, we could see below average rainfall. But further north across uh, northern and western parts of the UK into Scandinavia, around the Baltic Sea, northern parts of Central Europe as well, it will be quite unsettled, wetter than average as we get areas of low pressure tracking eastwards across those areas and overall it will be generally above average like i mentioned this week you know we've got on wednesday highs of 15 or 16 degrees and that kind of thing could continue on and off through next week as well depending on the track of low pressures um, so overall it will tend to be above average across much of europe through next week now into the following week a similar kind of pattern continues we've got a broad signal for high pressure building across southern Europe that's ridging in to parts of the UK and northern Europe at times. The jet stream's a little bit further north, uh, but still areas of low pressure pushing to the north of that area of, of high pressure, bringing periods of rain. So in terms of the rainfall anomaly, similar kind of thing for the UK, northern and western areas, seeing above average rainfall, similarly into parts of Scandinavia and northern Europe, but further south there is a signal for drier than normal pressure uh, rainfall. Into the final week, the second week of March, still this signal for above average pressure across southern Britain, um, still uh, a westerly flow pushing areas of low pressure into the north, and much of that rainfall will fall in northern parts as well. So a similar kind of distribution for rainfall as to the previous two weeks. And again, it does look like it will continue to be on the milder side. So to summarise, very unsettled this week. Uh, we've got two named storms, Storm Dudley and Storm Eunice, that are going to bring some strong winds, some heavy rains, potential for some snow in places. It will remain changeable next week with a mobile westerly flow pushing areas of low pressure in, but high pressure might begin to ridge in from the south, so slightly drier than this week. 
And then as we go into the end of February and towards the middle part of March, it will tend to remain slightly on the milder side. So thanks for watching this week's video. As ever, you can keep up to date with the day-to-day -day forecast on our social media.